Let's pray together. Holy and merciful God, Father, thanks so much for giving us the chance to hold this Bible seminar in Guam Church. Please open all the hearts of the participants in order to understand the will of God and uh, the word of God. Please be with us, especially our Holy Spirit. Give us the wisdom and intelligence in order to understand how to be born again. Our Lord God, please open all the heart, including the preacher. Please be with us and help us. We pray in our Lord Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Uh, let's search uh, the Bible John. Bible John 5. Bible John 5. Verse 39. Bible, John chapter 5, verse 39. You search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. And these are they which testify of me. Jesus Christ himself said this word. This word is very important for us and uh, to God also. Uh, why the scripture, this Bible is important? Uh, the main topic of this Bible, how to get uh, eternal life. Eternal life, in fact, in this world, there is no eternal life in this world, as you know. All the living things, uh, there is beginning and death, I mean end in this world. You know, Jesus Christ <coughs> mentioned about eternal life. As you know, in this world, there is no eternal life. All living things should die in this world. Where we can see and enjoy uh, the eternal life, only in heaven. As you know, kingdom of heaven. Only in heaven, we can, we can see and we can enjoy the eternal life. Where is the heaven, the kingdom of heaven? This is this kingdom of heaven is the kingdom of God, as you know. You know, so <coughs> only with God we can eh, we can enjoy the eternal life. But in this world there is no eternal life. In fact, uh, we can eh, we can think like this. You know, a butterfly. Have a good time. Had a good time with the day fly. You know, day fly. The butterfly said to the day fly, Oh, I'm very happy because I played with you eh, all day long with you. It's very, it was very funny. So, uh, day fly, let's have a good time tomorrow. And then the day fly said to the butterfly, Hmm, what is tomorrow? Okay, what is tomorrow? As you know, the day fly, day fly eh, there, is no, eh, there is no tomorrow oh, for the day fly. You know, this time, a eh, oh, bluebird oh, had a good time in a season with the butterfly. And then, the blue bird said to the butterfly, oh, you're a good friend. So, uh, let's meet and have a good time next year. Huh? The, 
uh, the bluebird said to the butterfly like this. And then the, bro the butterfly said, what is the next day, uh, what is the next year? As you know, there is no next year eh, for the butterfly. Yeah. Just like this, uh, in this world, uh, the lifespan is different. As you know, dog, tiger, lion, the lifespan is only just 20 years. And how about the whale in the sea? Only 120 years. Uh, okay, and how about turtle? The turtle, the, uh, the longest uh, lifespan of the creatures in this world is the turtle, about 500 years. Okay, but there is no uh, longer, uh, there is no longer uh, life in this world. And then, how we can get eternal life? As you know, man lives just between 70 years to uh, 70 years to 100 years now. You know, but Jesus Christ said about eternal life. Wow. So, this book is very different from the other from the other book in this world, right? As you know, man is immortal. So man can, cannot give us the eternal life to man. Why? Mortal man cannot give the uh, immortal uh, life to the man. Only God can do. Uh, only God is immortal and uh, everlasting life, as you know. So, from today, we are talking about heaven, huh? not just in this world, all right? So, uh, during this work, uh, we are going to talk about, uh, talk about the heaven life, heaven, about heaven. Uh, because this eternal life, uh, we can enjoy just in the heaven, so, uh, we should go to heaven in order to enjoy the eternal life. So this book uh, teaches us and show us how to go to heaven. Uh, uh, someone say like this, oh, after death, everything is finished. Uh, so after death, nothing. No. Why we dream during, the, uh, during, the, during our sleeping? You know, we should know there is another world, another world in this world also. All right. Who said these Bible verses? We search the we search the scriptures for in them. Uh, in them, you think you have eternal life. Who said this? Jesus Christ. Who is Jesus Christ? He's the first man. Of the, of the holiest and the most important person in this world. Yeah. He is the one of the, eh, one of the uh, four saints in this world, as you know. And he became the origin of the human history. So before Christ, we see BC means before Christ. Yeah. And AD, what is AD? In the year of the Lord. So, Jesus Christ, he became the origin of the history of human beings. Like this, Jesus Christ is the most important man in this world. He said, very important word. He said only the, uh, only the facts and the theory and the truth in this world, but Mostly, mostly, he said about the life after life, yeah, in heaven or in hell. So he said like this: in order, to, in order to go to heaven, you have to be born again. Do you want to go to heaven? And then you should do the will of God. And Jesus said to the Peter, 
uh, Simon Peter, he said like this, I will give you the key of the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. Oh, there is the key of kingdom of God. And he said like this, yeah, path through, enter through the narrow gate. You should know, in this world, there are many broad gates, but that broad gate leads to the, leads to the destruction. Destruction. So only, yeah, only enter through the narrow gate. Where is the narrow gate? We should know. Okay, that gate is the narrow gate. What is the gate? Gate means enter another world. You know. You know, the world is different yeah, before the gate and after the gate. All, all, so the gate means uh, enter, enter the new world, you know. In order to go to the new world, heaven, we should, we should enter through the narrow gate. What is the narrow gate? Just like Jesus Christ said about the heaven and the kingdom of heaven many, many times. Mostly, he talked about the kingdom of God continuously in this world, as you know. And Jesus Christ said about this. So, uh, during this week, we are talking about this heaven, the kingdom of God. Uh, I will uh, say about how to, how to be rich in this world. Uh, or uh, how to be happy in this world. Or how to, oh, uh, uh, what I say, uh, how to oh, uh, go to the, uh, go to the high position in this world, uh, like this. I will not say about the situation or conditions of this world. Yeah. So today is very important day to know this. Yeah. Eternal world it, uh, and eternal life. You know, when, when God promised us the eternal life, you know, when we see the Titus chapter 1, verse uh, 1 and 3, eternal life, eternal life. God promised before time began. You know, before the creation of the whole world and the whole universe, you know, God promised eternal life to me and to you and to all the human beings before the time began. This is the plan of God. This is the will of God. It's very important. You know, God was alone in heaven. Huh? And God want me, God want me, you know, me, God want me, and God want all of us to go here to the eternal life, to the kingdom of God. And God wants to live together with us forever, happily. <laughs> so God has this good plan and good will to us. Uh, we should know this, all right? So, because God wanted this, uh, if we did this, uh, so we get the eternal life and go to uh, the heaven, and then God will be very pleased. Oh, I'm very happy. God will say like this. But we failed to go to heaven, and then God will be very sad. You know, think about this. If the children is very happy, their parents is parents are happy, as you know. Just like this, uh, when we are happy, and then God will be very happy also. When God will be happy, when we get eternal life. When we are born again, and uh, when we do the will of God, and we are very happy. Why? We have the qualification to go to heaven, the kingdom of God. So we must know that God, God 
promised eternal life before the time began. Oh, it's God's grand plan. Grand plan. As you know, it's very important. As you know, but who can give us the eternal life in this world? The doctor in this world? No, it's impossible. How about the scientist? How about the politician? How, how about the businessman? Nobody can give us the eternal life. Only God can, can do this, all right? So, if this Bible was written by man, this Bible cannot give us the eternal life. But if this Bible was written by God himself, through this Bible, we can get the eternal life, you know? Because this Bible was written by God. So, uh, when we see this Bible, yeah, we can see the God said, the Jehovah said, and the Lord said, like this, this kind of uh, mention was written more than uh, 3,800 times in this, in this Bible, in this book, you know? So we can say, this book is the book of God. This is the book of Jehovah, as you know. So we can get the eternal life. So Jesus Christ said, uh, uh, Jesus Christ said like this, very important, you know? You diligently study the scriptures. Why? Because you think that by them, by the scriptures, by the Bible, you possess eternal life. That's right. So eternal life means we can go to heaven. Eh? We, uh, we can be just like God himself. So step by step, I will explain about it. Little by little. Uh, are you with me now? Do you follow me? Very good. Very good. Yes, very good. And then, and then, what is the Bible? You know, the Bible was written like this. For the prophecy never came by the will of man, but by, uh, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Oh, as you know, uh, Trinity, you know, the God the Father and uh, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah? Three of these are Trinity, the God himself, you know. So, the Holy Spirit, by the Holy Spirit, you know, this Bible was written. And we can understand this Bible only through the eh, help of the Holy Spirit. Now, I believe the Holy Spirit works here. Yeah? This is the age of the Holy Spirit. So, Holy Spirit works in the church now. Yeah? So the Holy Spirit let you understand this word of God. You know, prophecy never came by the will of man. You know, the Bible testify about the Bible like this. The prophecy, what is the proph prophecy? Uh, the prophecy, as you know, uh, the prophecy, you know, Prophet listened. Prophet listened to God. You know, God himself, God himself said to the prophet. And the prophet, eh, the prophet received the word of God. That is the prophecy. And God gathered all the prophecy just uh, in one book. There's, that is the Bible, as you know, the Bible. <coughs> Bible. The Bible. Another name is the scriptures. So, God said to the prophet, prophet, and the Bible is the prophecy. Prophecy. This prophecy only by the Holy Spirit, not by the will of, will of man. No, no, no. 
through this Bible, I can get the eternal life. How? How can we get? In this Bible, we can get the faith. You know? Uh, by faith, we can get the eternal life through this Bible. I will explain little by little about it. Okay? So, uh, here, the Peter said like this, Prophecy never came by the will of man, but, not but, but, the holy man of God spoke. The holy man of God, man of God, spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Oh, and then this book can give us the eternal life. We should know this. So, at first we should believe this book, this book, the Bible was written God himself. Why this Bible was written? In order to give us the eternal life. In order to show us how to go to heaven. Are you with me? Yes, yes. Thanks so much. The Bible. Uh, when the Bible was written, eh, the Bible was written from Moses. From Moses. Eh, before 3,500 years ago, yeah. So this Bible was written for 1,600 years, you know. How many people uh, wrote, uh, you know, how many? About 30, uh, 30 reporters wrote down the prophecy, the word of God. And uh, various countries, various places, who is the author? The author was God himself, you know. The content, you know, history of God's salvation of man, you know. <clears throat> How can we go to heaven? Only salvation, you know, salvation. Uh, by faith, we, we will get the salvation yeah, to go to heaven, to get the eternal life. Okay, uh, the first comer, uh, uh, I understand, you, not, you do not understand well now, but step by step, you will understand well what I'm talking about. All right? Here. Okay, I'll go on. So, Jeremiah, the word, the word came to Jeremiah from, from the Lord, Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Zephaniah. The word of the Lord came to Zechariah. Like this. The word of the Lord came to the prophets. How many prophets? About the 40 prophets. For 1,600 years. Yeah, this Bible was written very long time. Yeah, by, the, by the 30 reporters. Who wrote this? Yes, God himself. Not by the will of God, but by the Holy Spirit. Very important. You know, <laughs> this cave, this is a Kumnan cave in Israel. Huh? Uh, you know, when we see this, uh, we can see the Dead Sea in Israel. Kumnan cave. I was there. Uh, uh, how many years? Yeah, 18 years ago. Uh, this is the clear evidence. <laughs> uh, you know, here, why uh, this cave is important. In this cave, okay, the Old Testament was found here. Wow. This, uh, so the secret of Kumnan, uh, yeah, he, in fact, the, uh, you know, copies of the Old Testament was found in this jar, in this jar. It was, uh, it was preserved for uh, more than 2,000 years here. Because this area is best, very dry land. In fact, here, the rain almost never comes in this area. 
So every day dry, dry. So, you know, uh, these copies uh, preserved in this uh, in this cave, Kumnan, you know, like this. And now it was uh, repaired. The scripture copy scrolls in the Kumnan cave near Dead Sea, and then uh, it was repaired. Uh, now and uh, they are displayed. Uh, yeah, look at this, like this. They repair, uh, and it was uh, uh, and it was uh, displayed like this. This is the Bible of the Isaiah. You know, the Isaiah was written 2,700 years ago. You know? You know, the original was one. And this original was uh, written by the Holy Spirit through, yeah, uh, through uh, prophet, uh, prophet Isaiah. Are you with me? But this original, this original, is true or the original is changed. Uh, they, yeah, uh, they searched this, uh, uh, this, uh, these copies and then they realized that uh, these copies are exactly the same as our, as our book, of, as our Bible of Isaiah. Exactly the same. How is it possible? Okay. Uh, let's let's think. There is only one original in this world, and then it can be very easy to be changed. Why? If somebody changes just one original, and then it can be changed. Okay. But you know, God let many, many, many copies, copies, copies were made copies made, all right? God let many copies, eh? for example, 1,000 copies. In order to change the, the word of God, they should go 1,000 copies and they, uh, he must change all the 1,000 copies, exactly the same. Is it possible? No. So, because all the copies are exactly the same, you know? So, the original of the word of God can be preserved, preserved like this. So, <coughs> this Bible, eh, exactly the same word of God, and uh, we can read and hear the word of God. Just as the prophet listened to the word of God, now we listen to the word of God through the through the Bible now. Okay? Okay? So this Bible of book is linked directly. Uh, directly. Uh, between God and me. It's very important. And that see copies of the scriptures. It is proved that they are absolutely the same as the present Bible. Okay, uh, look at this. This is the copies. Uh, there is no original now, right? And uh, the Bible was translated into 3,324 languages in 2017. And now, 2022, last year, the Bible was uh, translated 3,595 uh, 3, languages in last year. 2021, okay? How many eh, uh, books are translated uh, like this? Just Bible, just the Bible. The other books uh, was not translated in just uh, in such a, a many languages like this. Oh, what is this? Uh, when the president of the United States, uh, the, the president, uh, the president, uh, uh, the president represent the earth, the earth, uh, uh, 
he handed on the Bible. All the president of the United States, they handed, uh, they handed on the Bible. Why? Why not diamond? <laughs> Why not the constitution of the uh, United States of America? Why they eh, hand over the Bible? Why? What's the reason? Because this word of God is the most is the most authority in this world. You know? What is the most what is the most authority in this world? You know, the president of the United States show us what is the most authority in this world. The Bible. So Lincoln, the president Lincoln said like this. The Bible is the best book of God. Best best gift of God, you know? Yeah, the Bible is true. Uh, will you read it uh, together? Uh, let's read together. You search the scriptures for in them, you think you have eternal life. And these are they which testify of me. Yes. Through this Bible, we can go to heaven. We can go to the kingdom of God. It's very important. So, what is, the, what is the topic today? Today, eternal life. How can we get eternal life? You know, we can get eternal life through Bible. So, we must study the Bible diligently. You know, so uh, this week, we hold this Bible seminar. Bible seminar. Uh, so that we get... Uh, eternal life. <laughs> Are you with me now? Yes, it's very, very important. <laughs> As I said, God, who is God? God is invisible, and God is immortal, holy, righteous, good, merciful, almighty, omniscient, omnipotent, justice and love. This is the attribute of God. This God said to the prophets the word of God. And God gave this word of God, the Bible, to me. As you know, you know. And God ordered to us, Jesus said, and I know that his command is everlasting life. You know, God formed us through, the, uh, through our parents. And God commanded to all of us, you have to get eternal life through the word of God, through the Bible. Yeah. This is the commandment, commandment of the word of, uh, of the Bible, uh, of, uh, uh, by God. And I am just mortal and sinful. Uh, as Jesus said, we must be born again, or we must be saved. We must get, we must enter a uh, narrow gate, or we must do the will of God in order to go to the heaven, in order to enjoy the eternal life. It's very important. As Jesus said, and this is eternal life. Yes. What? You may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Okay. Yeah. This is the one key to get the eternal life. Uh, in order to get the eternal life, at first, we must know the only true God and Jesus Christ. How can we know the invisible God? Mm. God is invisible. We cannot feel God at all. So many people say to me like this, show me God and I will believe God. <laughs> so I said to him, do you have a mind? Do you have a mind? Do you have a mind? Will you show me your mind? <laughs> you have a mind, you, you have a heart in yourself. 
Okay? But you cannot see me. You cannot show me the mind. Do you have conscience? Hey, you don't have a conscience. Oh, I have, a, I have a conscience. And then show me your conscience. Can you show me conscience? No. But, you know, in me, we should know, I have invisible thing. My mind control my body. My conscience control my life. Is it right? Is it right? The invisible myself control myself. Okay, do you have gravity? You, uh, do you know gravity? Gravity. Because there is gravity here, we can sit safely now. <laughs> but do you feel gravity? Uh, do you see the gravity? No. Do you see the microwave here? No. Can you see the electricity? Eh? No. There are many things in this world, invisible things. You know, God is invisible. Invisible God created the invisible things. The scientists said in this world, the invisible things are 80%. The visible things only 20%. And Jesus said in the Bible, all the visible things comes from the invisible things. You know, water, water. The water, uh, we can say H2O, you know? Uh, one hydrogen, uh, uh, two hydrogen and one oxygen, you know? That unification is the water. So God said all the visible things comes from the un, uh, invisible things. Yes, that's right. So God created the invisible things and the visible things. So God is invisible. We have to know. In order to get the eternal life, we should know the only true God. It's very important. Uh, uh, just uh, the church goer said like, I believe in God. I believe in God. But uh, we should know he is believing the, the only true God or another God. Another God. There are many gods in this world. Yeah. Similar God. God asks us, you should know the only true God in the Bible. And Jesus Christ, whom the only true God had only true God have sent in this world. You know? How many Jesus Christ in this world? Now, in this world, uh, in this world now, many thousand Jesus Christ lives in this world now. Who should, uh, who we should believe, uh, believe the Jesus Christ now? <laughs> we should believe the Jesus Christ, whom the only true God has sent. You know? It is not easy, but... During this work, I will show you through the word of God. All of this was written uh, in the Bible. You know, very important. But as you know, God is invisible. We cannot see the, we cannot see God. Yeah. Here at the first Timothy chapter uh, 6, verse 15 to 16. God will bring about in his own time. Yes. Now God is invisible, but later God will show himself to us in his own time. Not now, okay? But later God will bring about in his own time. God. Yeah. Only the God is the blessed and the only ruler. 
the King of kings and Lord of the Lord, who alone is immortal, and who lives in, in appropriate, uh, approachable light, whom no one has seen or can see. That's right. God, we, uh, in order to get uh, eternal life, at first we should know the only true God. I will show you the only true God through the word of God continuously. Yeah? I'm sure yeah? uh, you will not be disappointed to find out the real God. Yes. Do not try to see God by our own eyes. Why? Our own eyes are so imperfect. Let's see this one. Uh, it looks like a straight, but uh, it, it, it is really straight, but when, uh, because of the uh, circumstances, it looks like the curved, you know. Look, look at this. Which one is bigger? bigger? Yeah? This, mm, you know, this one and this one, same circle, but this circle looks bigger. Uh, how about this? This circle uh, go round uh, to the center, but in fact, you know, like this. Just the circle. Uh, you know, the uh, spot, black spot become the white spot, white change the black like this, okay? Uh, oh, this, this one is black. No. Change eh, white and eh, black. Our eyes are imperfect like this. Which one is longer? Which one is longer? A is like this and B is like this. Eh, exactly the same, but uh, this A is uh, this A looks longer, longer than B. Yeah. Do you feel? This uh, this picture moves. Uh? Yeah. In fact, not moving, but <laughs> you looks. Uh, it's just moving. All right. Yeah. Which one uh, is smaller? You think uh, green uh, green one green one. Uh, green one looks uh, smaller than the white one, okay? But in fact, in fact. How about this? White one looks smaller. In fact, same, same size. Uh, because of our optic, uh, uh, our optical illusion, it means our uh, our sight is not secure, imperfect. You know, how can we see God through our conscience? The Bible said like this: through our conscience, we can see God, and through the universe, you know, God created. Uh, God made the world and everything in the universe. So uh, we can uh, we can understand and uh, see God through the universe, you know, universe, and uh, through the uh, through the nature. God created uh, the things that are made, even uh, so all the uh, nature, uh, all the nature. Through the nature, eh, we can see God clearly. Yes. And uh, historical fact, God show us, uh, give us the eh, secure, uh, secure evidence. And uh, through the Israel people, yeah, to, the, uh, to God, Jesus, uh, and uh, God said, you are my witness. You means Israel people. Israel people are eh, the witness of God. So through the through the Israel people and through the Jesus Christ, we can see God. 
And Jesus himself says like this, Who has seen me has seen the Father God. You know, who has seen me? So when we see Jesus Christ, we can believe the God himself. All of this was written, eh, were written in the Bible. What does it mean? Through the Bible, we can see God and his will exactly. Okay, so the Bible is so important. We must know the Bible is true like this. And who is God? The God is the crea creator to all things in the universe. Yes. And Acts chapter 13, verse 24, God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth and does not live in the temples built by hands. You know, God. Who is God? Here, at first we must know God is the creator. Creator God. Yeah. So all of this world made by chance or by the design of the God. The Bible said, all the things, all the things in the universe were made by God, by God's plan, by God's design, you know? Yeah. In uh, Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 6, you are all on the Lord. You are all on the Lord, creator. You have made the heavens and the heavens of heavens. Wow, many heavens. You know, sky and over, uh, you know, uh, solar, system, uh, solar systems heaven and the universe heaven, many heavens. And with all other hosts, the earth and everything on it, the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve them all. Preserve. Very important. Uh, I think uh, some of you, some of you, uh, bring about the rear some fish, yeah? uh, some tropical fish yeah? in the aquarium. Yeah, in here, the Guam church, yeah? uh, you know, hole, huh? the downstairs hole, there is an aquarium. Okay? You know, the life of the fish belongs to fish themselves? No. Yeah. The fish's life belongs to the man who uh, cares for the aquarium. Is it right? Okay? The man made a mistake, uh, 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 make, uh, make a mistake, and then uh, the fish cannot live, cannot survive. Okay? So we can say the life of the the life of the fish belong to man, not by the fish fish themselves. Is it right? But the fish thought, oh, every day the prey come down from the upper from the upper sky. Uh, uh. They will think like this. Yeah, in the same way, we just think tomorrow morning the sun will rise from the east and uh, the sun will set, uh, the sun will set to the west every day, yeah. spontaneously. <laughs> we will just think about it. No, because God created all of them and preserved them all. Yeah. When we think about this, we, eh, we are obliged to recognize and understand the existence of God eh, and the preservation of God. Okay. And look at this. Who is, who is God? 
at first, create a God. So important. So, create a God is the giver. Yeah. So, God have the responsibility to give us the eternal life. And we are the creature man. Yeah. So, we are taker. So, we have right to receive eternal life from God. Yes, here. Yeah. God is creator, and, uh, and here, yeah. God is creator, and I am just creature. I'm just creature of God. So, God is the giver, and I am the taker. God planned to give us the eternal life before the beginning of this world, all right? So, we can say boldly like this. We have the right, we have the right to get the, to get the eternal life, uh, eternal life from God. Uh, why? God promised to me. God promised to us all to give us the eternal life. So, Jesus said, uh, John chapter 10, verse 28, Jesus said, I give you the eternal life. You know, Jesus Christ is the giver, giver, and we are taker, we are taker. Uh, it's very important. So, me, uh, through this Bible, we can take, uh, we can take the eternal life freely, uh, without any payment. Mm. Oh, is so important. We must know this. Yes. So, he is not served by human hands as if he needed anything because he himself gives all men life and breath and everything else. Oh, God give us the life. Okay? So, when you sleep at night, do you ask to your heart, heart, I am I'm sleeping, but heart, you should not sleep. During my, <laughs> during my sleeping, you should continuously running. We do not ask, we do not ask to the heart like this, okay? God give us the life, and God give us the breath. Uh, to the nose, I ask like this, nose, I am sleeping now. But you have to breathe continuously. We do not say to the breathe to the nose like this. Who give us the breath? Who give us the life? Only God, the Creator God. This Creator God won't give us the eternal life, not in this world. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, God. Eh? God himself give all men life and breath and everything else. Yeah. God give us uh, everything to eat and to see and to touch uh, for our life. God prepared everything for us. You know? Okay. God created the universe, as you know, in Job chapter 38. 33, do you know the ordin uh, ordinance of heavens? Do you know the ordinance of heavens? Ordinance. You know what is the ordinance of heavens? You know, constellation, many constellations of heaven in the sky, you know? Many const constellations, okay? Oh, how many constellations uh, in, uh, in sky? How many? We cannot, we cannot count, yeah, more than uh, 1,000, more than 10,000, we cannot say. But there are so many constellations in the sky, but the, all the constellations moves together from the beginning until now, okay? Okay? Do you know the, uh, here, okay? do you know the ordinance of heavens, ordinance of heavens? 
you know, eh, the sun rise in the east uh, from the east and uh, set to the west. That is the that is the ordinance of heavens. Okay. The movement of the solar system is the ordinance of the ordinance, you know, the ordinance of heavens. Ordinance. Yes. You know, Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 28, God said uh, before, uh, 3,500 years ago, the heavens, the heavens above, the heavens above be black. The heavens above are black. And uh, Isaiah, 2,700 years ago, God said, I clothed the heavens with blackness. Uh, but uh, at the time, Jeremiah, 2,600 uh, uh, years ago, Isaiah, 2,700 years ago, they cannot find. Uh, they cannot, uh, they cannot, uh, Testify uh, this is true or not, but now we can we we can uh, uh, we can see this, okay. You know rockets through the rocket we can go out to the uh, atmosphere like this, okay. You know the heavens above is black, as God said two thousand seven hundred years ago. You know. It was true. And how about this? Uh, when we see the Job 26, verse 7, this was written 3,500 years ago. He stretches out the nurse of empty, empty space. Oh, he stretches out the nurse, the nurse over empty space. It was found, uh, it was found uh, by the astro uh, astronaut uh, of America, United States. He hangs the earth over, no over nothing, on nothing. Th uh, 3,500 years ago, God said uh, through Job, but it was true. Yeah. You know, here, this Bible, uh, uh, no, no, this uh, newspaper said, uh, vast space hole, vast space hole, yeah, in the north sky. Here, the best hole in space, okay, uh, <coughs> they find out the north, uh, to the north, uh, God, God, uh, 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 spread, spread the hole uh, and empty space to the north. And one more thing. Uh, look at here. Ancient people thought the earth like uh, thought the earth uh, like this as a disk like this in Babylonia. And uh, how about the Mesopotamia? Mesopotamian people uh, thought the earth like this, and Egyptian people thought the earth like this. Yeah. But this earth was hung on nothing when. This picture was taken. This picture was taken just only 50 years ago. Before, we cannot take a picture like this. When the, uh, when the earth uh, was hung on nothing, when uh, this truth was found only 500 years ago, you know? Not long time. But the Bible said, Bible said, uh, 3,500 years ago, the earth, the land, uh, was hung on nothing, on nothing, over nothing, like this. You know, Bible was true. 100% true. We should know this. Look at see this ordinance of heaven. Mm. Uh, look at see this. All right. He, he spread out the northern skies over empty space. He suspends the earth over nothing. You know, the, lo the locate location speed of the earth, uh, 
is 1,660 kilometers per hour. And how, how about orbital speed? Uh, 108,000 kilometers per hour. Is it by chance? By accident? No. It was by design of our Lord God. Yes, that's true. Okay? And uh, God, God, He planned the size and uh, the length, uh, everything, everything. That is the ordinance of heavens. Okay, look at this. So from the uh, from the sun to the earth, the, the distance is the the distance is uh, as you saw as you know. This John is a live John, live John, huh? uh, at the sides. Where are you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Tell me, who determined its measurement? Who stretched the measuring line? Open it. Yeah, the, uh, in the job. Uh, 38, the Bible said like, uh, the God said like this. If the sun were a little closer, what happened? Mm. If the sun is a little closer to the earth, the temperatures of the, of the earth will go up much higher. Uh, in Arctic and uh, in, Ar in Arctic, the glaciers will all melt away. So, there could be a place like a desert, you know, like this. <laughs> this is the uh, polar bear. And if the sun a little farther, what, what happened? Yeah. In that case, on the contrary, if the distance between the sun and earth becomes a little farther, the temperature uh, of, the, of the earth will go down even to be the ice age okay even if in africa or desert it could snow like this okay <laughs> and so the uh, the baby lion oh so cold mama <laughs> it will be like this nobody can survive in this world yeah you know adequate sight adequate distance and all earth, God controlled all things. We should know this. How many we should control eh, in order to eh, leave us? Eh, in order to leave us, you know, God controlled how many? Eh? 200,000 conditions were controlled. Eh? By God, in order, in order for us to live in this world, you know, God, Sa, Creator God. Here, I will show you. The moon is moving like this, and how about how about the, the Earth? The, the Earth is also moving. Uh, how about the solar system? Solar system, uh, nine planets. The rotate, uh, revelation speed is uh, 70,000 kilometers per hour. It's just by accident? No. Uh, do, you know the ordinance, uh, do you know the ordinance of the heavens? Uh, we should know this. <laughs> From the creation of the uh, universe until now, all of this ordinance of the heavens, uh, heavens are uh, exactly the same. And uh, God preserved the whole uh, universe like this. How about our galaxy? You know, in our galaxy, uh, 200 billion solar systems are in our galaxy. Our galaxy, uh, rotation speed is, uh, uh, how about, uh, uh, how about two 
billion, two million kilometers per hour. Two million kilometers per hour. So fast, our galaxy is turning, you know? And how about cosmos? In here, cosmos, 1,000 billion galaxies exists in this whole world. But all of this by accident? No. By design of God. This is the ordinance of heavens. Yes, that's right. So, eh, we can recognize and understand all of these uh, were created by God, Creator God. Okay, God created the earth, and uh, God created the earth and the living things in it. Yes, and God created the plants and animals according to their various kinds, according to the kinds God created the whole world. And uh, God created them for man. Is very important. Uh, what is the purpose of this building? Uh, for dog? For man. Yes, for man, for us. Okay? In order to sit and listen, uh, listen the word of God. So, mm, uh, planned and designed and uh, construct this kind of building uh, for us. In the same way, all the universe uh, was uh, formed and uh, created for man. Especially for me. Why? Without me, there is no world. There is no universe. You know? All of this world exists for me. All the universe exists for me. We should know that heaven, the eternal life, exists for me. Right? So I am so much important and uh, I am so much precious and invaluable before God like this. Yeah. As you know, this earth is not immortal. Someday this earth will disappear, but we will live forever. In fact, I am much more precious than this earth. We should know this. You know? Why? I am eternal. I am immortal. Oh, after death, I, uh, I am existing continuously. We should know this. All right. Here, Isaiah chapter 45, 18, uh, 18. For thus says the Lord, who created the heavens, who is God, who confirmed the earth and made it, who has, uh, who has established it, who did not create it in vain, who, uh, who formed it to be inhabited. Yes. yes so uh, here, who means God, Lord. The Lord formed it to be, the, uh, the Lord formed it eh, to be inhabited for me, by me, you know. I am the Lord and there is no other. Yes, that's right. Very important. All right. Here, God created them for man. Okay. So, 200, 200,000 conditions are needed for life on the earth. Uh, for the aquarium, uh, for fish, the conditions are just 20 conditions are needed for fish, okay? But uh, uh, here for me, God, God, uh, you know, God <coughs> made, God uh, controlled how many conditions? 200,000 conditions for my life uh, is very important. All right. Creatures of invisible God. Uh, will you hear? Uh, will you read this Bible verse, Job, tw Job twelve seven to nine? Okay, read together. But now ask the best beast, and they will teach you. 
and the birds of the uh, air, and they will tell you. Or speak to the earth, and it will teach you. And the fish of the sea will explain to it. Who among these does not know that? The hand of the Lord has done this. Yes. When we ask the beast, they will teach us, Oh, this is the creature of God. The birds of the air, air and they will tell you, Oh, God created uh, us, the birds. Okay? Yeah. The earth and this, the fish. All of the creature explain that God is the creator. Okay. And uh, when we see the Romans chapter 1 verse 20, uh, for since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen. Ah, when we see just one uh, flower, when we see just one uh, uh, just one fish and bird or animal, uh, you know, there we can see uh, the God's invisible attributes. And we can understand uh, uh, the things uh, that God made. And even eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Nobody can excuse there is no God uh, when they see the nature uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, all the creatures and animals and the plants and everything, every creature of God. We cannot excuse. Uh, there is no God. We cannot say like this. Uh, God said like this. So, uh, let's suppose uh, some of you, uh, uh, some of you go to God and uh, uh, will say, oh, oh, I do not know the God exists. God will say like this, you cannot excuse. I will show the God myself uh, to all the creatures and to your conscience and to the uh, to the book of God, the Bible. And I, I gave you the chance to know me uh, through this kind of seminar, but you hated me. Uh, you, uh, you hide it from me. So you cannot excuse. Oh, God will say like this. Okay? This beautiful house was made by chance? Huh? By accident? No, by design eh, of God. And God said like this. Eh? God said, for every house is built by someone. Is it right? But God is the builder of everything. God God is the builder of everything. So God should uh, tell, tell them this like this. These gods, not the true God, but there are many other gods. These gods who did not make the heavens and the earth will perish from the earth and from under the heavens. Uh, creature, today I will, eh, I will tell you God is the creator. It's very important. Yeah. And look at this. Universe was uh, created for earth. This earth created for plants and animals. These plants and animals were eh, created for man. But God said, man's uh, created for God. As you know, we are man, okay? I am man. It means I am created. I am formed for the glory of God. So in order to be the glory of God, I have to be born again. Uh, without getting the eternal life, without uh, entering heaven, uh, we cannot be the glory of God. 
Okay. This is the object eh, of creation of the human beings. And then I said, what is the most important? The universe, cosmos, are very important, of course. The earth is very important, of course. But the, what is the most important and uh, invaluable in this world? Myself, you know, myself. So this Bible is talk about, talking, about, eh? talking about God and me and heaven, you know? These three things. These three things must be linked, connected by God. We should know this. All right? So, uh, here, uh, I understand God is a creator. God created the whole universe. And why created me? You know, me, man. Man, you know, man. Men are composed these two things. One is the body. Okay? One is the body. Body is the visible. Visible. Okay. And touchable. But spirit, you know, uh, spirit. Uh, spirit, we cannot see spirit. Uh, the spirit is invisible. Uh, you know, uh, in, my, in myself, uh, there are two things, visible thing and invisible thing, body and spirit. Okay, look at this beautiful woman, all right? But in this woman, uh, we, we, uh, there is a spirit we cannot see. Okay, the body. The body, here is the body. You know, the Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground. So, uh, the element of human body and dust are exactly the same. So, after death, a long, uh, long time later, uh, we will find uh, the dead body became the, uh, became the, what? Became the soil, uh, became the dust again. Okay. So, uh, and the Lord God formed the man, the dust of the ground. This is the body. And breathed into the nostrils the breath of life. Uh, man became a living being. Okay. There, here is the, uh, you know, God uh, explained about the uh, uh, spirit. And uh, I am composed of two things. One is the body and the other is the spirit. What is more important? Of course, the spirit is more important than the body. Uh, of course. Uh, here, the David said here in these Psalms, You formed my inward parts. You means God. God formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. Okay? I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am made by God, you know, I am made by God. Marvelous, marvelous are your works, yes, it's very important. So Isaiah chapter 44, uh, verse 2, thus says the Lord, Who made you uh, and formed you from the womb, from the womb of, of, your, uh, of your mother? Yeah. Who will help you? Yeah. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant. Yes. Here we can understand, uh, God formed myself from the womb of my mother. You know, God is my maker. God is my former. You know, uh, my mother just gave birth, gave birth. This is the difference. Uh, I was born, uh, I was, uh, uh, I was, uh, uh, what I say, well, I, I was, became uh, like this. This is the egg of mother, and this is sperm of my father, okay? So, I started uh, uh, the development of the embryo in a womb, just like. All the human beings are 
uh, the development is exactly the same. Eh? All the human beings, African people, European people, uh, American people, Korean people, all the people, all the human beings are uh, exactly the same uh, during the development of the embryo. Uh, embryo uh? Okay, uh, for one week, for one month, and uh, for two months, for three months, all the human beings are exactly the same. As you know, it means just one, just one eh, God created the human beings and all the other things. Eh, we can understand this. The structure of a human body like this eh, by DNA. In one cell, six billion genetic in, uh, informations are at work, DNA. Very important. And here, spirit. The spirit here is uh, God's image. God's image. Religious heart and conscience, heart for eternal life. Yeah. This is the, uh, this is the uh, requirement of the spirit. Spirit. What is the spirit? You know? God created man in his own image, the image of God. What is the image of God? God said, I am the spirit. Spirit is the image of God. Okay? Image of God. So, Zechariah chapter 12, verse 1, God said, God forms the spirit of man within him, within the body. God forms the spirit of man. Yes. What is, uh, which one is more important? Yeah. The house or man? What is more important? Of course, man is more important. And the house means the body. Uh, body. And uh, man means the spirit. You know, the house uh, means the appearance. It's a visible thing. And the man's spirit is a heart, invisible thing, you know. So spirit is much more important than the, uh, the, the body. A child takes after his parent, as you know. Huh? Okay. God created me in his own image, spirit. So I take after God spiritually. So God loves me so much. Yeah. Spiritual DNA is the same as God. <laughs> you know, uh, I am composed of two things, physical things and spiritual things. Physical desire, this desire is a uh, desire to eat uh, like this, but this desire is endless and uh, there is no satisfaction. But spiritual desire is religion. Conscience and uh, eternity, you know, meeting God and forgiveness of sins and getting the eternal life. And then we will get the real rest and the real satisfaction. So why God sent me in this world? To get this, to get this desire, you know. This is a real will of God. Okay. So, when we see this Bible, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11, also he has put eternity in their hearts. Uh, in, another, uh, in, in another Bible, Virgin, he has also set eternity in the hearts of men. You know, God said like this. Uh, we know. God said, God said verse, uh, in the eggs, you know, God set, uh, God set the butterflies in the caterpillar, yeah, just like this. God set eternity, eternal life in my hearts, in the hearts of man, okay? Someday, the caterpillar will become the butterfly. Someday, 
the egg will be changed into birds. In the same way, someday I will be changed into everlasting body. Huh? Why? God set the eternity, the eternal life, the eternal body in this body. How can we know this? God said. Okay? So, we have to, uh, we have, we have to, uh, we have to be born again, uh, you know, to go to this uh, heaven. You know, all the flying, uh, flying objects, flying creatures are uh, flying. Uh, flying creatures must be born again. Think about worms and birds, okay? All the flying uh, creatures must be born again. Uh, why God made all of these birds and uh, flying uh, insects, insects made like this? In order to show us and teach us, you must be born again in order to go to heaven, you know? So, uh, God explain to us the importance of the rebirth born again. Yeah. So through this Bible, we can be born again. Yeah. We can get the uh, uh, regeneration, rebirth through the word of God. Why? So the Bible said, God said, he has also put eternity. He has put eternity in the hearts of man. Very important. Don't forget this. Okay? You know, this body only lives only how many days? How many years? 70 or 100 years. Okay? But this spirit, how long this spirit lives? How many? Eternally. You know? We should know this spirit lives just like God. Live eternally. Forever. Forever and ever. Uh, when we say to the worms, Worm, you will become the beautiful butterfly. But worm said, I don't know. To the, to the egg, you can say, Oh, now you are just the egg small egg, but you will, be, you will be the eagles to fly, eh? to fly on the sky. <gasps> I don't know. The, the, uh, what I, the, the egg will say like to us. Okay? We are the same. <coughs> we do not know. We will be changed into the eternal, eh? eternal body. We do not know yet. Later, we will see and we will understand this word of God clearly. Uh, God will show us clearly. What, and then, what is the purpose of life, my life? You know, to succeed in life? No. To be a good person? No. Three. To get eternal life? Yes. Okay. So, God Give us the, uh, give us the heart uh, to yearn for eternity. So Jesus Christ came to this world to give us eternal life. So many people ask to Jesus Christ, here one, good teacher, what good thing shall I do so that I get have eternal life? And uh, uh, here or so, he was going out on the road. And uh, one man came running and knelt before Jesus Christ and asked him, Good teacher, what shall I do so that I may inherit eternal life? All of these are Jewish people. Okay? Oh, a certain lawyer also, he asked to Jesus Christ, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? A certain ruler also. What shall I do to inherit eternal life? Ah, they made a great mistake. 
in order to go to heaven, in order to do, get the eternal life, they wanted to do something, you know, to do something. But we should know. We have to, uh, we have to go to heaven by faith, not by our act, activity, you know, not, not by our activity, but only faith, faith. But, uh, but all the other people uh, asked Jesus Christ, what shall I do to go to eternal life? To get the eternal life, to inherit the eternal life. They ask, what should I do? What shall I do? What must I do? Uh, you do not need to do something to go to heaven, to get the eternal life. Just listen, okay? By faith. Yeah. So Jesus said uh, that whoever believes in him uh, have eternal life, you know? And Daniel, uh, in the Old Testament, many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, you know, everlasting life, eternal life. Yes. Jesus said to, uh, to the Jewish people, I, I give them the eternal life, eternal life. Here also, uh, you have given him authority over all flesh, that, that he should give eternal life. Yes. Jesus Christ came to this world to give us the eternal life. Why God created us and uh, sent us uh, through our parents to this world to give us eternal life. You know? Jesus wanted to give us eternal life. God wanted to give us eternal life. So, we have to want to get the eternal life through the word of God. Here, 1 John chapter 5, verse 11, this is testimony that God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his son, you know. Uh, I can say uh, uh, clearly like that. I have experience to get the eternal life through the word of God. Uh, through this Bible. Uh, by faith. You know. So I can uh, preach this word of God, the uh, gospel to you. Uh, because uh, I have the experience to get eternal life. I have the experience uh, to receive the rebirth, regeneration. Uh, so, uh, during this week, uh, we can clearly uh, will get this. Very important. Okay. What is the real purpose of our life? Human thought. To eat well and live well. To be rich, to be famous, to be a good person, to enjoy life, to succeed in life. Uh, human thought like this. So God said, my thoughts are different from your thoughts. My thoughts are, my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. Okay, this is a lower thought. Okay, what is the God thought? Yeah, God thought, have eternal life in heaven, you know? Yes. To get eternal life, to be born again, at first we must know the true God, you know, the true God. Okay, let's read once more this Bible verse. This is eternal life, that they may know you and the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Okay, here, as you know, the only true God is invisible. So, uh, here, the John chapter 1, verse 1, In the beginning was the world. The world was with God, and the world 
was God. Oh. We cannot see God, invisible God. But through the word of God, we can see and we can feel God. He was in the beginning with God. All the thing was made through him. Through him what? The word. So the word of God is so much important here. So uh, at first we must know the true God correctly. So I can say like without the word of God, without the word of God, we cannot get the eternal life. So we have to study diligently the scriptures, the word of God. All right? As you know, the faith comes from hearing well. But the devil said, the faith will come from your dizzing, eh, dozing, or sleeping. The, uh, the devil said like this, but the Bible said, the God said, uh, the faith comes from hearing well. Yes. Okay, look at this. Uh, this is the Eden of Garden. Okay, God is the creator. I am God's creature. God formed me. Job chapter 15, verse 10. But no one says, Where is God my maker? Yes. God is my maker. You know, God is my maker. God made me. So, God, God, ha God has the responsibility to give me the eternal life. Are you with me? Are you following me? Yes. And I am right to take the eternal life, the heaven, from God. I have right. And God have the responsibility. Oh, oh really? Okay. Uh, I'll try to receive the eternal life through this Bible seminar. We should think like this. Uh, we should make up our minds like this. Okay? God is true. And the word of God is true. Very important. Okay. So when God made the whole this world, God said from the first day to the uh, to the uh, five days after creation of the first day, God said, uh, "I saw that uh, it is good. It was good. It was good. It was good." But lastly, uh, when God created man, God said it was very good. Yes. Yeah, God saw, uh, God saw that it was very good. It was very good. Ah. You know, the real purpose of the creation of man uh, is for eternal life. Okay? Oh, this lady is pregnant. Uh, during the, uh, she was pregnant, when she prepared for baby, this kind of thing. Uh, she was happy. Okay? Uh, she, when she prepared for baby like this, she was happy. Okay. But when she was the happiest, when, when they gave birth and uh, uh, like this, when she uh, when she uh, see when she sees this baby, she was the happiest. Echo, amen. Yeah, the baby is the final purpose. Yeah, as you know, in God's view, I am the final purpose. So I am so much important and invaluable and precious before God. We should remember this. He has put eternity in their hearts. 
Yeah, okay, it means he has put eternity in the hearts of man. Yes. God has made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has put eternity in the hearts of man. God put butterfly in this, in this uh, caterpillar, you know? How about this egg? In this egg, God put what? Beautiful birds. And to this, uh, uh, to this physical body, God put eternal body. Okay. So when we see the first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 44, it is shown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body. And let's read it together. There is a spiritual body. Is this the spiritual body? No. What is the spiritual body? The spiritual body is the body of angels. It's the body of a resurrected Je Jesus Christ. That is the spiritual body. My body will be changed into this kind of spiritual body. Okay? Later. God wanted to give us this spiritual body. This spiritual body lives forever. Yeah. This is the truth. Very important. And then, what is life? From where we, eh, we go to where? You know, from God, we go to God. Jesus said, yeah, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 7, Then the dust will return to the, return to the earth. This dust means what? Yeah, my body. My body will return to the earth. As it was. And the spirit, my spirit, will, will return to God who gave it. You know, God gave me eh, the spirit in my body. So after death, my body will return to the earth, but my spirit will return to God. It's very important. This is the truth. Okay? Yes. But as you know, uh, my life, how short. Indeed, you have, my, uh, you have made my days as hand breath. Okay. And my age is as nothing before you. Uh, the David, King David said like this. So short uh, life. Short life. So short life. And this short life also, 70 years. Or 80 years. But God said, yeah, we fly away. Our life is just like a flying away. So fast. Is it right? Is it right? Yes. This is my, this is our life. And my life is just like the mist. Vapor. <sighs> you don't know what will happen tomorrow. For what is your life? What is your life? It's even a vapor. Yeah, it appears for a little time and then vanishes away. This is the life. Too short. Too short. You know? I will, eh, I will give you eh, one prophecy. But eh, it is clear. What is the, my prophecy to you? You will surely die. Is it right? Okay. Unquestionable truth to anybody. You will surely die. And then, we have to prepare the life after life. The life after life. Yes, it's very important. We shouldn't know what is the commandment of God. Jesus said his command is everlasting life, eternal life. So important. So Ecclesiastes chapter 5, 15, 
Uh, as he came from his mother's womb, naked shall he return. Okay, we came to this world naked, and we will return naked to God. That's right. This is truth. Why we are here? I was born to get eternity, to be born again, to enter heaven, as I said. That's why I write here. Okay? All right. God created my body, and God created my spirit. Here, uh, I came to this world through my parents, birth, and life, and death. Everybody, this is the way uh, of life. And uh, when we die, we should, uh, we should go. My body will return to the dust. And uh, how about my spirit will return to God? When we see Job 19.26, after my skin is destroyed, what does it mean? After my death. I know that in my flesh I will see God. I shall see God. Yes, my spirit will see God. When we meet God, what will happen? Okay, let's read this Bible together. And as it, as it is appointed for men to die once, but after this, the judgment. Yeah, the judgment. God will judge. God will judge. Okay, I will send you to this world to get the eternal life. Did you receive the eternal life during, the, during your life? God will ask. God will judge about it. God will give us many evidence of God's existence. And God gave us many chance to get the eternal life, to be born again, to get the salvation. Uh, but many people uh, refused and reject. Uh, and sometimes are against God, clearly. So God will judge all about this. You know, after this, everybody should, uh, should live forever. Where? In heaven or in hell. Anybody, we must choose uh, these two things. Very, very important. You know, here... Uh, in nine months, in the womb of a mother, uh, 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 this, uh, this is preparation for the life in this world, 70 years or 100 years. And these 70 years and uh, 100 years life in this world uh, is a period of uh, to uh, prepare the eternal life, okay? Eternal life. Eternal life in eternal heaven or eternal hell. Yeah. God give us the free will to choose this. We should know this. Just as, just as man is destined to die once after death, to face judgment. Judgment. Nobody uh, can eh, avoid this judgment before God after death. Okay. God said, See, I am setting before you the way of life and the way of death. What, what is the God's will? God's will. Jesus Christ said like this. Not Everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of God. But he who does the will of my Father in heaven. And then, what is the will of my Father? This is the will of God Father who sent me, Jesus. That everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have it everlasting life, eternal life. You know. This is the will of God. Eh? What is the will of God? 
The will of God to me is uh, to receive this eternal life through the Bible. Okay? This is very, very important. Why? We have to, dis uh, we have to decide where I live forever after death. In heaven or in hell? Hmm. And here, they will go away to e uh, eternal, uh, eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. Uh, someone will go to heaven, but the other will go down to the hellfire forever. Anyway, after death, all of us should know we will live forever. Why? Because we have the Spirit of God, all of us. You know, Spirit never dies. After death also never die. Never die. In heaven or in hell. Huh? Okay, look at this. Uh, there are two eternal destinations, you know? Yeah, where on us do I have to spend my eternity in heaven or in hell? Yeah, I have to decide this. So, you know, the God said, Therefore, thus uh, will I do you, O Israel, because I am do this to you. Read together. Prepare to meet your God, O Israel. Not only, not only Israel, but also us. Same. Prepare to meet God. After meeting God, God said, judgment, you know. Okay. Here, we read these Bible verses. Uh, the first Bible verse today. Okay. You diligently study the scriptures because you think that by them you possess eternal life. Okay. These are the scriptures that testify about me. Uh, here, these are the scriptures, these are the Bible that testify about me. Yet, you refuse to come to me to have, to have eternal life. This life is an eternal life, you know? Yeah, this life is an eternal life. Same one. Mm, same one. Yeah. We diligently study the Bible. Yeah, during this week. Why? We, because we know that we possess eternal life by the Bible, by these scriptures. Amen? And these are the, these are the scriptures, these are the, these are the Bible that testify about me. Now, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is not here. How can we, uh, how can we come to Jesus Christ? Okay, Jesus said, yeah, Jesus said, these are the scriptures that testify about me. You know, you know this Bible testify about Jesus Christ. So, uh, the meaning to, to come to Jesus Christ means to come to the Bible, to come to the Bible seminar. Same meaning. Okay. When <clears throat> uh, Cornelius invite, invite uh, Peter, Simon, in Joppa. So, Peter Simon, uh, Peter Simon went to the house of Cornelius in Gaishara. There in Gaishara, uh, this is the two-day walk, two-day walk, two-day walk from uh, Joppa and Gaishara. Hmm? But uh, uh, Peter went to the house of the Cornelius' house. Okay. Uh, so Cornelius, uh, they gathered, uh, they gathered all uh, families and the relatives and the acquaintances there. Okay? 
Peter arrived. And then uh, Cornelius said to Peter, Thank you very much for inviting, uh, for uh, coming to my house. Uh, I sent some, uh, some man to uh, take you uh, in my home. Thank you very much for coming to me. Welcome. And all of us are here before God. So that, so that we may listen the word of God. Okay? Uh, Acts chapter 10. Uh, the Bible said like this. You know, uh, the Cornelius did not say like this. We are all before Simon Peter. He did not say like this. He said like this. We are all are sitting before God. Before God. So that we may listen the word of God. Alright? So there, the Peter preached the word of God and the gospel of salvation. After that, you know, many people were born again. Many people get the eternal life. And they were baptized, baptized there. Uh, there is the rec uh, record of the Bible. Alright? In the same way. Uh, we can say we are all before God in order to listen the word of God to get the eternal life. Okay? So, uh, some of you, uh, I think uh, you promised, oh, I will go to your church just one day. Uh, just uh, one day. Uh, okay, that kind of promise finished. And now, uh, uh, let me promise to all of you together during this week, uh, okay, tomorrow and until this, during this week, uh, promise uh, with me again. Mm? In order to get the eternal life, in order to go to heaven, uh, let's study the Bible diligently with me. Okay? And let's, let's all, of, all of us, let's stand before God. Okay? God will give us the glass, great and grand blessing uh, and happiness. And uh, Jesus Christ uh, will give us the eternal life at last. All right? Okay. Let's have a promise to me. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'll pray now. Holy and graceful God, Father, thanks so much for giving us the, uh, this word of God to get the eternal life. I understand now. God is the creator. And I am God's maker. So, I understand I have the right to get the eternal life uh, from God through the word of God. Okay, please give us the eternal life through this week. And uh, let me participate all the night here to get the word of God, to get the eternal life. Okay, our Lord God, please give us the blessing of eternal life. We pray in our Lord Jesus' name. Amen.